right down here bottom left corner of this little group of tools we have the blur tool and the sharpen tool and the smudge tool kind of a finger painting tool and you can use these to try to clean up an image or remove some defects on the image this is a JPEG image and JPEGs are always compressed and if I zoom in enough on this especially up in the sky here you'll begin to see some of that dot pattern happening I'm not really sure if you can really see that or not but kind of kind of just a a rough pattern in there this is a good use for that blur tool again I can change my size I can change the strength if I have multiple layers I can sample all layers and I can just come in here and blur this and actually smooth out those JPEG artifacts and make the picture look as if it's a much higher quality picture just by smoothing those out. It works out very very well in this kind of sky area. So it almost looks as if it's taken in a higher resolution since you don't have that pixelating effect in there. So a very very interesting tool. You can really see how that works down here. If I just come in and do a little bit right there you can really see that blurring effect down below as compared to the top section up there. Okay, let me just back out of that. There we go. The next tool is the sharpen tool. It does the exact same thing and it actually sharpens things up. Let's say I wanted to have these letters pop out a little more. You can see what, what it's doing. If you look closely, what it's actually doing is, is it's increasing contrast or edge contrast. And if you increase contrast, it makes it look like it's sharper. You know, pixel to pixel contrast. And it can be used to make things, something look as if it's a little more in focus, but it's also good for making things pop out a little more. If I zoom out now, I didn't do the C or the A, and let's just come and do that, and that, there we go. All looks good, so I didn't do those. Let's back out a little bit. And you can see how the lettering pops out more here than it does right there. That's a little more faded in, so I made it easier easier to read. Not quite as realistic looking, but it looks it's easier to read that because of that sharpening effect. If we go up here, it looks like the upper edge of this in here is maybe not quite as sharp as it could be. Go back to our sharpening tool. I'm just going to go over that edge just a little bit. It increases the edge contrast and that would look like it's a little more in focus. It's, it's a little trick that you can use to to go in and fool the eye to think that something is more focused. You see how much more focused that looks than that does right there. It's kind of small on the screen right now but this looks a lot sharper. So it's a little sharpening tool. The last one is a finger painting kind of a, tool, a little, little picture of finger painting there. Interesting tool. Sometimes this is useful. You can do some things with it. Sometimes not. It really depends. And I can demonstrate right here. See, it actually just smears the image almost as if this was painted on a wet surface and I could pull my finger through it. You can use it for special effects kind of work if you want to. Let me just back up a few steps in here. But sometimes you can also use it for just some repainting work. So I made it a little bit smaller. So I wanted to pull this this line here down a little bit further. I can just grab that and just pull it down a little bit. Just kind of smear it further down the wall. Or if you have a spot that should be smooth, like right in here, you can try to you know smooth that out a bit just by coming in and smearing it with that finger painting tool. and smooth it out. You can really see the effect down here. I was just kind of smearing out that area. So sometimes it's going to be a really a nice tool for trying to fix things or you can use it as a special effect if you want to as well. You know it's really up to you if I want to do some something weird in here. You, know, you can do that as well. Make the Y go swooping off. There we go. 
So a fun little tool. I, I rarely find a use for that, but I'm sure, you know, if you want to think really creatively, you may find a, a good use for that. Possibly doing some flame things. You could use this to help accent your flames. That's one possible idea. But there you go. That's that little set of tools down here. The blur, the sharpen, and the smudge tools. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.